start of presentation, um, setting up the um, displays and Musím? Yeah. To bude problém, lebo budem kodiť. Okay. Um, so, um, awesome world between GNOME and Suckless. Um, I have a question. How many people know what a GNOME project is? Okay, most. How many people know what Suckless project is? Some. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna explain what Suckless is in a minute. Uh, how many people expect me to bash and complain about GNOME? Okay, I'm not gonna do that. Uh, so what my goal is generally when I'm working with my computer is optimize the stuff, optimize my workflows, improve whatever I can, you know, speed it up. What my goal for this talk is, is for you to, you know, get out of your butt, some complaining about whatever you're using and try to improve it. Try to, try to use a new program, try to configure it in a little bit different way, try to integrate different stuff. I'm gonna have a few examples. But first, uh, I promise I'm gonna explain what Suckless is. So Suckless project is uh, aimed at being the most stupid, the simplest, modular, smallest implementation of whatever you can imagine. So for example, DVM is a Suckless implementation of a window manager, which is an equivalent of GNOME Shell. GNOME Shell has, uh, I counted it before the talk, it's three, 38,000 lines of code. Uh, DVM has 2,000 lines of code. They basically do the same thing. Um, <laughs> more or less, right? Uh, but uh, the problem with Cyclas is it's really, it's the other end of the spectrum, right? It's, most people will never, comp because DVM, if you want to configure it differently, you have to compile it. Uh, the configuration is done in a header file. Um, so, this is fine for some people, um, but most people will not do it. Even programmers are, you know, yes. we're lazy people, probably not. Um, but there is a whole slew of tools and, you know, just things in the middle that cater to all kinds of things. So what kinds of tools do you do daily? So it's window manager, mail client, shell, terminal, whatever. Um, window manager, um, and what I use is awesome. <laughs> It's the name of the window manager, although it's not a window manager. In fact, it's a window manager framework. It's a library with a configuration. Uh, I'm just gonna show you the config file. I'm not very, yeah. So I'm gonna increase the font a little bit. Um, so yeah, it looks little, really weird. Um, and this. Oh, okay. Uh, anyway, um, so you can see in the top, well, maybe you don't, but there is a CPU widget which shows the, whoa, which shows the um, uh, temperature of my CPU. Um, I can remove it and add it by just editing the one line in the con configuration file. Um, the point is, um, there are different types of window managers. There's many more. There is, you know, you can use Enlightenment, you can use Fluxbox, you can use Ion, DVM search around, try new stuff. Um, maybe it will take you two months to get used to the VM and get back to your previous productivity, but it's gonna be worth it, I promise. Um, another thing that people often use is, you know, Thunderbird, uh, Zimbra, uh, Moot, uh, it's very, you know, uh, interesting choice. But a lot of people actually love Gmail's interface, right? Uh, we like that, you know, there's threads and we can tag stuff and it's, you know, just indexed and really fast to search. Uh, so not much is not really an email client. It's basically an email index uh, on top of your emails. And there's um, a library and uh, Python bindings which you can use to extend and improve it. <clears throat> and you know, set up rules how t how you want attack uh, based on headers. You know who you got it from. It was sent into ma this mailing list, so you tag it with Fedora Devil or whatever. 
uh, or you, you know, tag everything coming from Leonard Pottering as trash and just, you know, <laughs> it doesn't matter. You can do whatever you want and you can ignore it. Um, um, but you can still, it's not, you know, dev now, so you can still search for it if you need it. And there's multiple uh, UIs. Uh, there's the default one is, I guess, Emacs. Um, <clears throat> I can actually show you. It looks like this. Um, I'm not sure you're s you see much, but I can try and increase it. So basically, it shows the tags. I can like, what's my unread? I'm not going to show you because there's some internal stuff. But there is uh, Fedora Devil, so this is all the emails from Fedora Devil and all the different tags. Like some have unread tag because I haven't read it yet. Uh, uh, there is, so this is Emacs, but I can do uh, not, oops, not, not much uh, search tag, I don't know, or from Leonard, and it's just going to give me all the emails that Leonard has ever written. I'm going to just, you know, do show this thread, and it's going to, you know, get into database and give me a, basically this is a JSON output. It can do XML, whatever. <clears throat> the Emacs and all the other UIs actually use the, the API behind it. Um, so maybe try that. Um, uh, there is also, sorry, yeah, I'm maybe after. I'm trying, I have two and a half minutes, so I'm going to do more. Um, uh, so there is also shell and terminal. They're usually very integrated, or you, you, you should integrate them. Um, I'm using Z, Z, Z shell, uh, Z shell. Um, uh, whatever shell you're using, most people probably use Bash, so that's fine. Uh, that shell has plugins, so um, that's kind of my thing. You can do like, uh, you know, you want plugin for GitHub, or you want plugin for Git, or you want plugin for uh, Koji. There's actually a plugin for Koji. Um, whatever you do, set up your uh, Git prompt. So when you do, um, when you do, for example, I go to copper. When you are in a Git repo, you see which branch you're on, what's your current status. This means I have uh, unpushed change. <coughs> sorry, unpushed changes in the local repo, stuff like that. <coughs> this is important. Another thing which I just actually used is auto jump. If you've never heard of it, look it up. Uh, it's uh, basically automatically learning tool that you know allows you to, I just say, for example, I worked on, I don't know, Gen 2 something, oops, Gen, so it's going to jump into my internal Gen 2 Git repo, and I do J popper, and I'm there again. Um, how many people know what CD dash does? Okay, most, so use it. I bet you don't. Uh, also, push D, pop D. Um, do you know what echo dash e backslash backslash a does? Or print f, you know, percentage a. What, what does it print? It's, it's uh, an alarm. So uh, there is, uh, at least in my terminal, if I print an alarm, it goes into um, urgent mode. So integrated with my VM, uh, when I do, let's say, sleep, five seconds, and I go to a different slide, when the command returns, I don't know if you've seen it, but the seventh, I'm going to do it in a different tag so it's more visible. Um, sleep, two seconds, I'm going to go to different. <coughs> and it's going to light up in the red. You can see it in the top. And I push one button, and I'm exactly at the same tag, same actually client, um, and you know, just one push of a button, and I'm out of time. So thank you very much. If you want to talk about it more, uh, different setups, different clients, grab me after the lightning talks at the party or somewhere. Thank you very much. Thank you.